Well, hello there, and welcome back. I broke down and bought a ladder for $180, but it's supposed to reach, have a reach height, which I don't think is the actual height of the ladder. God, this lighting's horrible. Let me get back over here. The reach height, I think, is not the actual length of the ladder. It's like how high you can reach at the highest point of being on the ladder, something like that. So I'm hoping that'll be enough to get us around this building and to button up these ends with the uh, nails. Get the siding nailed to the the through walls and the butt walls, you know, where I couldn't get because I pre-sheeted. And that's the objective for today. And uh, once we get that done, then hopefully we'll know how well our ladder's working for us and we can move on to trying to stain this thing, which would be cool. Get it kind of weather sealed in. Anywho, that's what we're gonna try to do today. So let's get started. Looks like we're not going to be using it in that mode. What I was hoping to do is have it shorter on this end so this side would come up and it would just kind of rest over here, but uh, looking like we're not going to make that happen. Well, I tried putting the ladder there. Um, that would work for this side. We're at the nail in the bottom, of course, but I don't think it's going to allow me to lean over and get that, so I'm not even trying it. What I need, I think, is to do basically what I did when I was putting the sheeting on down here, which is a walk board, like up at the top of these posts, that allows me to go back and forth and uh, get all that nailed in. So, it's not what I want to do. It's not, maybe not the safest thing to do, but with this slope, it's hard. It's going to be hard to get the ladder level and like lean it up against this side of the building, so it may be the only thing I can do, especially here by myself with no one to hold the ladder and, I don't know, like trying to prop something up under one of the legs of it, even if you had someone here to help, is kind of janky. So, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can devise here. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, there's what we got so far. Uh, I have one of those, you know, 2 by 6 by 12s left over, so I put it in between. I have three screws in each post. And then I have these 2 by 4 scraps jutting out. And uh, they're leveraged, obviously, if you put your weight here, then it's pushing up against that. But I also have two screws in the end of each one uh, to make sure it doesn't slide or move and to reinforce it's uh, anchorment. If I was like three or four feet off the ground, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. But since I'm up higher <laughs> and I'm uh, not known to be one that's uh, most fond of heights, I have generally had a pretty uh, debilitating fear of heights. It feels pretty sketchy. So I'm trying to give it some thought, take a minute, make sure I'm uh, confident in what I'm doing here and I need to get up there and put screws into the plank at least the two on the outside to make sure they don't move and it'll only take a couple of minutes to get up there and just put some nails in those edges ah, but it's, it's got me freaked out a little bit <laughs> I think rightfully so I don't think it's too uh too strange to be a little bit uh, hesitant about this so well it's not perfect but I got a rope tied around it there that I can kind of hold on to so I have something to grip and if I were to slip and fall let's hope not or if anything were to break besides our main beam there then uh, maybe I can hang on to the rope and not just straight up fall I've been up there once to get the screws down in the boards. You can maybe see the impact driver up there a little bit, don't know. So I just gotta get up there and start nailing.
Should have put the nails in my other pocket. Well, it wasn't the most glamorous, and uh, I didn't put quite as many nails maybe as I would have if it had been a more comfortable uh, situation. But we got it nailed off, and now I just have to do these bottom edges on both sides, and then this again on the other side. I don't know if I'll get to it all today, but uh, you see the process. <laughs> So I got the front side that you saw with the scaffolding thing and the other side on the, the long wall. I don't know how I'm going to get the other end over there so I decided to come over on this flat side. But unfortunately the ladder is just a bit too short. It's at too steep of an angle I think. And uh, I mean that's not too terrible but I would need to fasten it uh, just to make sure it didn't uh, come off or anything. But the problem is, as you can see, I don't really have anything to solidly hold it onto the ground. And it's, you know, we're kind of maxing out up there. It's right where I need to be. <sighs> so, uh, I'm just trying to figure out the uh, best way to go about this. I mean, do we really need nails up there? It's just nailing the bottom of the siding onto the, the loft joists, I mean. Is it that big of a thing if it hangs over it and isn't nailed down? We got some of it nailed down. Maybe that's good enough. Well, unfortunately, I didn't make any progress with that. I've uh, just been kind of analyzing things and seeing what the best course of action would be. And I just don't feel like trying to attempt it on my own here today. So we got half of it done. I just got to see about the other half. So at least there's progress. Did some cleaning up and straightening things out around here and stuff. Took the cable system down since I don't think we'll be needing it uh, too badly in the future. At least near future. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'm kind of losing momentum with the build since like the building's here. It's basically done. I'm just like the building's done like I, I'm just I'm tired of building it I just want to move on to doing things with it using it welcome back to another beautiful day on the build um, yesterday I was fortunate and my wife came and helped me and I got the rest of these walls nailed off all the way down this side and all up and down this side so it's not perfect a lot of the uh, errors i made definitely made that a little bit more of an annoying task than it had to be and it's not as uh you know high quality construction as i would have liked it to be but there's nails in it now that's all i can say 
So we finally got that done. And I fortunately didn't have to do any crazy scaffolding maneuvers. I was setting up to do that, but I was having trouble due to the the long wall nature of this side and everything. Um, fortunately, since my wife came, uh, she helped me secure the ladder and uh, I was able to just to get it all done pretty much from the ladder. So that made things a little bit quicker and easier. And uh, I don't know about quicker, but more or less easier <laughs> and a little less stressful. Um, so yeah, all's done.